Hey, hey, hey guys, how are you? Um, okay, so today I'm gonna show you how to apply your foundation when you have mature skin. I already have my eyes done, all that fun stuff. So I'm gonna show you step-by-step step what I do to apply um, the foundation, okay? So um, first, if you're struggling with it, I do not recommend loose translucent powder. I do recommend like this press translucent powder. Um, you just go in and you wanna pat that in. You can take your sponge um, if you want to and pat it into those areas. Um, that's also an option as well. Um, especially if you struggle with that oil. Now, why translucent powder, guys? Translucent powder um, helps to absorb and to um, get that extra oil. If you struggle with like larger pores, it's going to help reduce that appearance. It's not going to take it away, but it's going to reduce that appearance. Okay. So first you want to apply that translucent powder. You can either use a blender or you can use a, a brush. Both are just as effective, but I like the sponge better. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to spray some setting spray on my face just to set that. Okay. So I'm going to go in, I'm just going to pat that in. Now you can also, another alternative, you could spray it on the back of your hand. You can grab it. You can go in and you can make sure that that's patted in. Okay. Now don't do it hard. Do it lightly. Get into those crevices. Okay. So those are the two different options that you can do. Now, when we have oilier skin, this is what I suggest. Okay. This is just a suggestion suggestion. Okay. So you're going to think I'm crazy, but if you have oilier skin, you want to use a facial oil in your foundation. You're like, okay, so why would I want to make my skin oilier? You want to make your skin oilier because oil attracts oil. Now I'm not talking about vegetable oil. I'm not talking about um, canola oil. I'm talking about a good pressed facial oil that is meant to balance your pH. Okay. I know there was all of these like wives tales and people telling you, oh my gosh, oil is just going to make you oilier. Actually, no oil attracts oil, but also this has two ingredients. It's got palmarosa and it has sunflower. Sunflower helps with inflammation. Um, palmarosa helps with acne control, oil control, and so does sunflower. Okay. So I'm not telling you to use a whole pump of it. I'm saying, or pumps of it. I'm just saying, take a little bit. And especially if you use wax base like me, that's literally all I have to use. Okay. So I'm just rubbing it around. I don't have to take tons. Okay. So this is great for, um, how to apply mature skin, apply foundation to mature skin that is oily or just oily skin. So what I did was I got my foundation a little warmed up here. I'm going to take this wet blender full. Okay. So you want to take a wet sponge. You want, you want a wet sponge. Cause look how it's like springy. You don't want to use a silicone based brush. It makes it really hard or blender because it makes it really hard to move the foundation around. And if you think of silicone and wax, like they just smear. Okay. So what I like to do is I like to take one revolution. Okay. This is literally all I should have to have. Okay. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to just push it in like this. Just trust the process. Okay. And then I'm going to take my blender and I am going to pat that in to my skin. Okay. So I'm just going to pat it in. Now, why is this key? Okay. This is key because it's pressing on top of the skin. It's pressing. Okay. So this is where you're not going to find all that um, movement and it's not going to get into those fine lines. Well, this type of foundation wouldn't even get in your fine lines and wrinkles, but this is a technique. Now I'm going to show you another technique that you can do around these specific areas. That's going to be really helpful. Okay. So up in here, I go a little bit harder just because I want, I can't see today. Okay. Here we are. Um, my eyes are like adjusting to the light. <laughs> so I have this one area right in here. I just want to blend it out. Okay. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to pat that in. 
okay? I'm just patting, 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 patting. I'm gonna pat on my nose, okay? Okay, now here's another way if you, um, if you don't like the padding motion, you can take this egg shell, egg part right here, and you could put it on here, and you just push it in like this, okay? You can press and roll, okay? And I like to do that in like my wrinkly areas, press and roll, and go in like that, okay? So that's, that's a really good option that way. Now, what I like to do after I apply that, and this is really gonna be helpful, is I like to take my sponge again, okay? So again, we're trying to reduce that um, oil production and that appearance of that pore, okay? So I'm gonna take that powder again, and I'm just going to pat that in to those areas that tend to get oilier or where I have um, oil or where I have larger pores, sorry. I'm having a hard time talking today. Okay, so you're gonna notice women have a hard time with their pores here and on their nose, okay? Now, you might think this is a lot, but it's really not. It's very helpful. Um, translucent powder helps with um, mattifying. It helps with the reduction of that pore size. Um, it also helps with just overall setting your foundation. I like to take my uh, brush and just kind of apply it on these sides. Um, so it's not so condensed all over, just in those oily areas, okay? And then I like to take my setting spray after I've applied my, you know, my contour, all that stuff. I'm going to apply a setting spray, okay? And you can also spray that on the back of your hand again if you want to. And you can bounce it in those areas, Okay, this is really going to help with your oily skin, this process step by step. Um, and it has been really helpful for me. It keeps my makeup looking fresh, um, keeps it looking good all day. Now, nothing is like God, right? So, um, you know, you may have a little bit here and there, but that facial oil, you would think my skin would look greasy and oily. Completely the opposite. So that that um, facial oil is working with my skin. It's balancing that pH level. Um, and it also, I have that translucent powder on there, which is also mattifying that. And then I have my setting spray, which has temperature control. So if I do start to feel oily or hot um, or go out in the heat, it's actually controlling that body heat. And so it's not gonna cause that creasing or anything like that. So I know a lot of people struggle with oily underneath and on their lids. If you're really struggling with that, you really wanna check out my under eye creasing video, which um, you can just comment crease below and I can tag you on that video. Um, but using a good setting spray and a translucent powder is gonna be so helpful for that. So, so helpful for that. So I hope this was beneficial for you guys. I hope you guys have a great day. Please, S-H-A-R-E for me. <laughs> and I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.